Hey everybody, thanks for dropping back by again. This is David with the worst YouTube channel ever. As you can see, we've got a special show today. I have splurged and trying to bring you guys the best content I can and I can't think of any place better to start than a Tomica Limited Vintage F40. I've treated myself, my birthday's coming up, so we'll look at it together. As luck would have it, I also received another vehicle, another Tomica Limited Vintage piece uh, from my friend Christian, and we will look at that one as well. We'll look at these photos here of some stills that I took before this video, and then we'll crack them open. Enjoy it. All right, guys, here we go. Let's look at them. Uh, this is the F40 and the BB512, both of them by Tomica Limited Vintage. And uh, yeah, let's get into them. First one we'll look at today, this is the BB512. It is a Ferrari. This is done um, part of the TLV, Tomica Limited Vintage, which is their highest end. This was a extremely wonderful and generous gift from uh, my my friend Christian and here's a look at the box I'm going to show you everything so that you get a look at the entire package if you want to pick one up for yourself they come uh, this is a very very sturdy cardboard box get a little slip cover here with some Japanese on it all your registration information and then here it is this is the 512 it comes with a protective piece of plastic sits over the car the car is actually wrapped in like a cellophane for additional protection we'll look at it here in one second I just want to show you guys the entire package some additional stuff I don't know what this is here in Japanese Maybe diecast toys in Japan can help me understand what I'm looking at here. Um, but that's not why we're here. We're not here to look at packaging. So this is the 512. Look at the wheels. Okay, I don't know where to start, guys. I'm pretty uh, flabbergasted. Rubber tires, authentic Ferrari wheels. Get a metal body, a metal base. Here is your base with all the information. You can see the tire tread on the tires. This is an opening parts vehicle. Wow, I am struggling. And can't even see the, there's the engine. You've got two-tone, black on the bottom, silver on the top, coming around on the rear, lensed tail lamps, red and yellow. Just a fantastic piece. Painted headlamps. You've got your Ferrari badge right there. And yeah, this is the 512. Fantastic detail on the wiper. It's roll, it's a roller. No suspension. Well, yeah, it does have suspension. Window trim around both sets of glass. 
black inserts on the top. Fantastic gift. Thank you so much, Christian. Um, we'll put this guy over here. And now let's look at the one that I have wanted. I mean, just almost from day one. This is the F40. Uh, as I understand it, there are three versions of this. You've got the red, you've got the yellow, and you've got the black. Um, this is the black version. Here's that same card, same plastic. And you know what, since it's black, I'm gonna turn a little light on. And we will get this guy out. Here, here it is, folks. It's amazing. I'll get you uh, some close-ups here as we look at it. Okay, so detail on the casting is flawless. Two moving parts, the bonnet as well as the rear. You've got the glass to see the engine, and then you've got an amazing, amazingly detailed engine bay. I don't know all the parts, but uh, it's it's legit. It's really, really cool. So this one also has lensed tail lamps, red, amber. As you can see, the lines on it are perfect for an F40. The front opens up. You've got a red interior with bucket seats. I'll show you that. Here's a very limited view of the interior. I guess that's where you're going to put your your luggage. <laughs> uh, Ferrari badge is perfect. Lensed headlamps. Check out the interior. Those red bucket seats. Like they're just absolutely molded. Left hand drive. A little surprising. Ferrari wheels. Here's the base on it. Badge on the side an incredible piece um, I don't even think I, I probably won't even display this on a shelf uh, this will probably go right back into the container or the box until I figure out some way of doing an acrylic uh, permanent display for it so that's what we've got today I may never be able to show this type of quality on my diecast channel in the future uh, but it all came together, and I'm, I'm glad you guys were here to, to share it with me. Uh, leave me a comment which one you like the best. Um, it's really tough to pick between these two. And, um, yeah, I'll keep, I'll keep hunting. You do the same, and hope you guys are all staying safe. Talk to you later. Bye.